So what's the deal with the debt limit? And is America really in danger if Congress refuses to increase it? Let's talk about it in today's video. It was reported that Republicans have so-called plan to prioritize payments if Congress fails to address the debt ceiling. So I want to be very, very clear here, as I have been, as the president has been, uh, this is not a plan. It is a recipe for economic catastrophe. As President Biden has made clear, Congress must deal with the debt limit and must do so without conditions. This is the basic, the basic duties of Congress is to deal with this issue. And let's not forget in the last administration, meaning Democrats and Republicans were able to deal with the debt limit three times. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So you just saw White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre talking about how Congress has to approve the debt limit and that we're not going to engage in any kind of negotiations with them over it. I support the administration's position on this, by the way. Frankly, I was highly critical of the Obama administration engaging in repeated negotiations with Republicans because they essentially held us hostage. And that's what this is, economic hostage taking. I mean, let's be clear about what the debt limit is. The United States at this point spends more money than it takes in, in taxes. The biggest increases in these budget deficits, the deficit being the difference between what the United States takes in in taxes and what it spends in a given year, the biggest increases in those deficits have all occurred under Republican administrations, including the last one. In fact, the deficit and thereby the debt which is the accumulation of all the deficits of the past. Well, those increased pretty dramatically under President Trump. When he was president, the Republicans were happy to spend like drunken sailors, increasing spending and reducing taxes on the very wealthy, of course. They claimed that their tax cuts would be revenue neutral because they generate so much economic activity and growth, none of which came to pass. It turned out, as people predicted, that it was just a giveaway to the very rich. And it did nothing for the overall economy and for everybody else. But during the Trump administration and during every Republican administration, including Ronald Reagan's, for example, Democrats went along with approving the debt limit no problem because we know what the debt limit is. You see, the debt limit is not about determining what United States spending should be or shouldn't be. The debt limit is simply about paying the bills we've already incurred. Well, we know from Donald Trump that Republicans aren't about paying bills that you owe. Apparently, we Democrats are suckers and losers because we believe in paying what we owe. And that's all the debt limit is. If the Republicans want to go ahead and try to pass something through Congress, for example, a budget that makes clear what their priorities are, which are, for example, cutting Medicare, cutting Social Security, cutting taxes on the wealthy, and increasing defense spending while they do it, by the way, well, then let them try to pass it. Then it's an open discussion that everybody can see what they're trying to do. But this is the equivalent of you writing a check to somebody and then calling up the bank and stopping payment on it, despite the fact that it's a lawfully owed debt to them. Unfortunately, because of the fact that President Obama did engage in negotiations with Republicans over this, resulting in such things as the sequestration, which limited government spending for a number of years, the Republicans think that this is an opportunity for them. It's not. And just like if you went and told the bank to stop payment on the checks you'd already written, well, if you did that, that would hurt your credit, right? Similarly, if Congress does not agree to pay the bills that we already owe, the United States credit will be hurt. Now you might say, oh, that's not a big deal. But in fact, it is. Because guess what? The whole world's economy relies on U.S. debt. I mean, if you have a savings bond or if you've given a savings bond to a grandchild, guess what that is? That is debt of the United States government. Most of this debt, by the way, is held by Americans. But people around the world rely upon it as a safe haven for investments. Well, if they become concerned that the United States is not going to continue to pay its bills as we always have, then suddenly they'll start looking somewhere else. And the entire global financial system 
will be shaken to its core. I hope that these corporate lobbyists who are so tight with the Republicans get at least enough of them to cross over to support this effort that the Democrats are able to increase the debt limit. We were able to work something out last year with Mitch McConnell because of the fact that he realizes the damage that refusing to increase the debt limit would do to our economy. But like with negotiating with terrorists, which is exactly what these Republican office holders are, when you negotiate with them, you encourage them to do it again. And that's exactly what has happened here. The White House cannot afford to negotiate with them and instead must hold firm and make it clear that whether the United States pays its lawfully owed bills or not is not really something that should be up for debate. They talk about how the government should balance its budget the way people do at home, but yet everybody at home knows that when you write a check, it's going to be paid. You don't get to write the check and then negotiate with the person you wrote the check to for it to be worth less, which is exactly what Republicans are trying to do with the debt limit. Well, if you want to see what happened when Mitch McConnell worked with the Democrats to increase the debt limit, check out this video over here that I did a little while ago. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.